Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it is early. I've actually been up since three in the morning because <laughs> I like woke up at like around 3.30 and I just couldn't sleep. And I think it's because I have a tattoo appointment today. So I'm just like really excited. I feel like a kid who's about to go on a field trip at school the next day and you have like your outfit laid out. Like I literally had this outfit fucking laid out last night. I was like so pumped because I'm going to be getting a tattoo today that I've been wanting to get for such a long time. And I'm finally getting, I'm, I'm finally... <laughs> and this is gonna be my biggest face tattoo that I've ever gotten. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be putting it right here, so it's not gonna be anything like dramatic. You won't even be able to like really see it from like certain angles. Um, but I'm gonna like probably have to cut some of my hair off because I'm getting a biblically accurate angel. Um, and it's gonna be pretty fucking big and I'm gonna have it like intertwine into this sword. And I love all my face tattoos, um, but I just really wanted to add something to this sword to make it more like unique because I feel like it's very similar to Posty's setup and he inspired my face tats a lot. And I kinda wanna make mine like different, a little unique and switch it up. So I think it'll be cool if I slightly cover the sword but still keep it. I think it'll be a cool look. Um, I don't know what the design's gonna look like. I just told him what I wanted and I was like, go crazy. <laughs> Cause I'm going to the same dude who did this sword and did this uh, big thing on my neck. So I, he's really cool. I'm really super, I'm super fucking pumped to uh, go to him and get tatted. We have Christian with us today. He's driving. <laughs> we have a little chauffeur and we just got Dutch bros. I also literally just had to go in Target and shave my face in the bathroom. I'm not even joking because like when I was about to vlog earlier, I saw like little hairs on my face. And I don't really grow facial hair that much, but when I do, it's like little fucking like sparse hairs just sticking out and I can't stand it. So I was like, I, I can't, I need to go in the bathroom in shape. So I shaved my face, got all nice and clean. So the tat is tatted. Let me just fucking say that. Honestly, pro you guys probably thought it was gonna be like something like crazy, like in the center of my face. But no, I feel like I got, so this is it. It's a biblically accurate angel. This shit is so sick. When I sent the design to him, I sent him like something very, very like kind of similar, but he made it very different at the same time. So I didn't expect it to be like this. And that's a good thing. It's like, I, I'm just so happy with it. Because I, I loved the sword and I really wanted it to still like peek out and like intertwine into it and still be there in a way. But I wanted it to be like, take like take the attention away from it. You know what I mean? Because I feel like um, it was very similar. Obviously I was inspired by Posty to get the sword and like the setup style. Um, but I feel like it was so similar that it didn't really make it unique in my own. And now this shit's definitely my own and unique. And if you look, there's like red, like burst colors coming out and we made the eye. Um, yellow and red inside and I'd never done yellow in my life because like I genuinely like I just do like black you know tattoos generally so this is sick I, I'm so happy with it I'm gonna see what it looks like with my hair down because I feel like my hair really takes away from my face and like distracts from it oh hell oh yeah that's real uh, I'm about to go in Trader Joe's <laughs> I just got this face tat and now I'm at Trader Joe's I'm about to go in here and get some fucking like food of course I am because like I'm like the only person who would get their fucking face blasted and show up to Trader Joe's all bubbly. <laughs> oh shit, these almond moms are pissed. Anyways, we're gonna go in here and get some shit. I look so good, bitch. What the fuck? This is so tight. I'm so happy. My dad's gonna shit balls, but I don't give a fuck. He's gonna what? Shit balls. Oh, okay. What do you think of it? I think it's fucking awesome. You think it's sick? That's when he was I'm doing it, the pain, I know you guys are gonna ask about the pain, the pain was fucking not that bad. For some reason, I think I'm like bleeding. I keep like oozing tattoo juice. But like when he was doing like the tattoos right next to this fucking eardrum, it was like rattling the inside pocket of my ear. And it was just a wild fucking feeling. Like it was brutal. Like it literally was just like jarring in the inside of my ear in there. And I had never felt that before in my life, but it was like badass. Um, so hell yeah. This is tight. Oh, I'm so happy. So yeah, we're gonna go in here and get some shit. All right, you guys, so I am back home now and I'm just so tired. Like I said earlier, I've been awake since three in the morning 
and it is now like six o'clock. It's gotten dark outside so early and I'm already so tired. So I was like struggling to stay awake on the drive home. Anyways, I have the Senaderm on this, like the peel off shit. And I'm gonna peel this off and clean it up. Um, so I'll show you guys how I take care of like my face tattoos and all that shit. Also, I um, just went to Trader Joe's and I got some groceries for dinner tonight. And I found this, this really cool recipe where there's this Instagram page that I follow and they do five ingredient Trader Joe's meals. And there was this one that really caught my eye and I'm gonna make it tonight with you guys. So it calls for garlic and Asiago cheese dip. This shit looks so good. And then you gotta mix that with some chicken sausage. I've never had this before. It's spicy Italian. And then we got some cheese tortellini we're gonna mix in with it with some spinach. I think this is gonna be amazing. But before I get to cooking, I am going to clean my face up because this, this looks like shit right now. It always looks like whenever I got this sword originally, I remember the, the first two or three days, like I wouldn't even go in public because it, it just, it looks so dark and like heavy um, at first. And then once it like, you know, fades and heals, that's when it looks really good. So it does look super intense right now. And like peeling this off is like always not the best feeling. This literally feels like I'm ripping the tattoo off. Ah, damn. Yo, that shit is so tight. <laughs> so when I clean my tattoos, I always use the gentle and clean hypoallergenic fragrance free one. And it's just like the foamy kind. I feel like this works best usually. So that's what I try to do. So I'm gonna clean this up and uh, have it make it look better. All right, you guys, now that it is all clean, it's looking a little bit more sharper and less muddy. I think it's just so sick. I'm so happy with it. And I can't wait until it heals and just like fades and just blends in nicely because it's so fucking pretty. And I just love it. And it's like, I love how it's a biblically accurate angel because I have a lot of like angelic, you know, looking like tattoos. I just feel like it fits me really well. And I'm just so glad that I got it. And I thought on this for a very long time. Like, literally, I've had this idea saved in my phone for, like, over a year. Um, and I definitely put a lot of thought into it before getting it. So, hell yeah. It's time to cook dinner. <laughs> I want to try this out with y'all. This literally might be one of the best things I've ever, I've ever made. <laughs> it smells good. It looks amazing. And uh, I'm about to coat it in hot sauce. Y'all already know me with my Texas pee. I've had two beers. I'm feeling good as hell. Um, bro, look at this shit. <laughs> so let's, let's try it out. Mm-hmm. It's creamy. It's garlicky. It's fucking delicious. Bro, this is amazing. Holy shit. Because while I eat this, me and Christian are gonna watch the epic movie. He's never seen it, but when I was a kid, I was obsessed with the epic movie. It is like a parody movie, and it's so fucking funny. If you know, you know. It's like the perfect money, the perfect movie to get like drunk or high to and just like watch to have a good laugh. And after the day, it's been a long day. Like I said, I've been up since 3 a.m. I'm fucking lethargic. I'm like, I can barely speak at this point. And I've had two beers and I've smoked weed. I'm just like all over the place. So we're gonna end the night with a funny ass movie while eating a good ass meal. It's been an amazing day. All right, you guys, so it is the next day. Um, I uh, I just wanted to update you guys in the vlog properly. Um, yeah, this looks so tight. I'm so happy with it. I love it. And I just can't wait for it to heal and really just settle in. 
you know, I think it's just awesome. And I'm really happy that I chose the yellow and red colors because it makes it pop, you know what I mean? And it's cool because like from the front, it literally looks like my sword's still there. If you guys remember when I first got my sword tattoo, it looked literally just like this. And it kind of just adds like a cool layer because like you can still see the sword and it's like layered in. So it's like super badass. And I'm just like so happy with this. Um, I wore this like black turtleneck today. Um, so it like really accents and it makes it look really cool. Um, bro, I'm just like so happy with my life and everything and like you guys, I love you guys so much and I just want you guys to know that I am very grateful for, for all of y'all because without you guys, I wouldn't have a face tattoo or any cool tattoos or I don't know if I'd have anything as cool as I have now, but um, yeah, this is all you guys. I, I, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I am going to be putting a lot more love into this channel, um, so stay tuned. I'm so excited for the future.